after a few days of this, instead of getting angry, which I probably should have done, I turned it in on myself and I started crying and I broke down and I decided I was going to hang myself. And I turned off the lights, we were in the room, Pedro was asleep and I got the rope and I tied it around the beam and I made the noose and uh, was about to slip it over my neck and get on the chair and slip it on and, and I heard this voice something psst, psst, hey hey psh, get up hey psst, psst, hey hey and, and, and like coming from the wall or something and I was standing on the thing with the rope in my hand ready to you know that was it and, and Petra woke up and said what are you doing and I got kind of embarrassed and I said nothing and, and then and I realized, you know, I don't want to do this in front of her. Um, so I stopped and I went up to the bed and she said, what are you doing? And I said, I don't remember what I said. I said, nothing. And then I laid there on the bed and I decided, okay, if I'm not going to hang myself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow all the air out and hold my breath out until I die. And I literally did that like for about 10 or 20 minutes until I turned all blue and and I realized that you can't kill yourself by holding your breath. It's really, really, really hard. Believe me, I was determined. Um, and they were talking about it the whole time outside. I heard somebody saying, oh, what are, he's, what are we going to do? He's got a gun with real bullets. And, uh, you know, I think they just wanted me to shoot myself and get it over with. Um, it was weird. It was almost like they cared, but they didn't. I, I don't know. So then I decided, look, this isn't worth it. Uh, I'm very upset. And I took some medication to help myself feel better. And, um, and you know, get out of it for a while. And I passed out for a while. And I woke up the next day and started over, you know. Um, this thing has has caused me to reach the the uh, end of my rope, you know, as much as I can take, has reached that point so many times, over and over and over and over, and every time I said, that's it, I can't take it anymore, I can't. And then I, you know, get through that, and I realize, okay, let me give it one more, one more try, one more try, you know. Um, at this point, I, 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 you know, I wanted to make these videos so I could tell the world all the horrible things they did to me. And my God, it's horrible, and I'm suffering, and, and give me some sympathy and pity. And, and, you know, there's an aspect to that, but now it's more like I want to tell this story so that other people will realize, you know, what's going on. And, if there's those of you that are targeted that, that don't know yet what's going to happen or why it's happening or what they can do, and, you know, uh, contact me and I'll let you know everything I can let you know about what happened to me. I, I've been in contact with a fair number of, of TIs and, and their stories are remarkably similar. The other thing that I found interesting was I've been doing some research on UFO abductions and, and that kind of stuff. And I found it very interesting that a lot of the stories of UFO abductees contain very similar elements to what we've been put through. So either UFO abductees are being tortured by the same people slash beings that we are, or, you know, the people that are doing this to us took a cue from the UFO abduction, or, you know, who knows, maybe it's all the same program. Maybe it's not, I, I can't tell you, but I, I, I saw a lot of similarities. Um, this is happening to a lot of people around the world, probably more than even realize it. It took me many years to realize what was going on. And, I mean, you know, even in the midst of, of this craziness, it took us a while before we realized, hey, wait a minute. Know, the, the full depth and breadth at first we thought it was the landlord fucking with us then we thought it was you know i don't know what then we realized people are fucking with us and probably some kind of governmental you know military industrial who knows man 
The other thing is, at this point in time, it really does seem like the United States government and possibly the rest of the world's government has been taken over by what appear to be sociopathic criminals, and they have done a lot of horrible things in the name of America um, that have caused me to lose my uh, patriotism, that have caused me to really wish I could get out of this country. I'm sort of stuck here with no money and needing medication and, you know, uh, I'm like a step away from being homeless. That's another thing they tortured me with in my mind all the time. Oh, you're going to be homeless, you're going to be this, you're going to be that, you're going to die this way and horrible and you're going to suffer and people are going to kick you and blah, blah, blah. You know, it just sort of went on and on and on. And, um, all right, so that's going to be it for now and let's see how this comes out and I'll think some more hopefully and we can uh, talk some more in the future if I survive. Uh, blessings, peace, and... Good luck.